Hey folks, Antar here and I've got a new battle for you. My opponent today is Crusader Nova of the Underdog Bros. I've battled the Underdog Bros in the past, but it's always been um, Kuzo for my coke. Uh, so this is the first time I've ever I've faced off against um, Crusader Nova and I'm looking forward to it. He's got quite an interesting team. I guess it's based on uh, F-Zero, which is a game that I've never played, sorry. Um, and, you know, I'm just using my UU team. He's using Dust Noir, which is OU, but that doesn't really matter. I mean, he's got Cacnea after all. So anyway, um, I lead off with Patrick, as I usually do. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and go for the rock the first turn. Um, simple. Uh, and anyway, he goes ahead and uses Magic Coat, which at first I was like, Oh crap, oh crap! And then I realized, wait a minute, this is Gen 4, not Gen 5. Magic Coat doesn't do anything in Gen 4. I mean, I actually have to look up what it does, but it does not reflect entry hazards, which is what he thought, um, probably. And so that's really a shame. Uh, you know, had this been a Gen 5 team, it would have worked. Um, but oh well, I've got my rocks up, and he's going to go ahead and swap out. And he's going to go ahead and send out his Hitmonchan, um, which, you know, kind of sucks for him considering the move that I uh, selected. I think he probably thought I was going to U-turn uh, for the super effective hit and to get out of there, but instead I went for the Psychic, um, and even though, so he actually takes that hit rather well, I gotta say, and after uh, Citrus Berry, you know, really didn't net too much, um, I'm, I am gonna go ahead and use another Psychic, um, <clears throat> and I think at this point, yeah, wow, this is really laggy, um, every time I battle the Underdog Bros, it seems like it's really laggy for some reason, uh, I don't know why, um, just, you know, PBR or whatever, uh, anyway, so he goes ahead and swaps out, which is fairly obvious, and he switches into his Pachirisu, um, takes a little bit of damage from Stealth Rocks, um, and it's going to not take, uh, it's going to take that Psychic, you know, pretty darn well. I mean, that must have only done about a quarter, uh, and after Leftover's recovery, you know, it, I'm sure it's about at 75% health. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and U-turn at this point, get my Patrick out of there, um, because it's not really going to be able to do much good. Um, Patrisu goes ahead and sets up a sub, um, which, you know, pretty good move, gotta say. Um, you know, my switch was fairly obvious. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I go ahead and hit it with U-Turn, um, which unfortunately gets a crit. Not sure if that crit mattered. Um, I'd probably have to do the calcs. I don't think Pachirisu has the best of defenses, but unfortunately I do break its sub. So anyway, um, Yuxi is called back, slowly. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and send out, fairly obvious, I'm gonna go ahead and go for my, uh, go ahead and send out my Hatterak, my Steelix, which is going to be able to be immune to any electric type moves and is probably gonna force a switch. So, um, seeing his team, remembering his team, I figure that he's probably gonna switch into, um, Dodrio predicting the earthquake. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and use Stone Edge. Anyway, he calls back uh, his Pachirisu, just as I was expecting, and goes ahead and sends out Dusk Noir, um, his only OU on this team. But again, you know, as long as it's not used in Trick Room, it's really, I mean, it's not actually that overpowered to begin with. Um, it's just, you know, it's a really good Pokemon for setting up Trick Room, and that's why it's OU. OU doesn't mean overpowered for UU, it just means it's used a lot. Um, anyway, so I'm obviously going to have to switch to a different move that does a little more damage. I go ahead and go for the Earthquake. So this is a banded, um... I, or I figure it's banded, um, because in previous battles that he posted, it, it had been banded. And I'm like, wow, I took that hit really well. So I go for the Earthquake here, um, and it does, a, it does a lot more damage than his um, presumably banded um, Brick Break did. Uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and go for another Earthquake here. Um, just, I don't think he's going to... Instead, he used Earthquake as well. I'm like, whoa, I guess he wasn't banded after all, but he was definitely trying to trick me into thinking he was banded. Um, anyway, I go for the uh, the Earthquake, and that is going to take him out. Um, and I'm really hoping that his Earthquake, since it did more damage than that Brick Break, is has going to have gotten me down to my Custat Barrier level, which would be awesome because then I get um, you know Priority Explosion and whatnot. He goes ahead and sends out his Hitmonchan, and I'm like, okay, I guess I can explode on this guy. But unfortunately, I'm at 42 out of 161 health, so that's not low enough to get off my Custap Berry explosion. So I'm going to go, uh, have to swap out um, because I figure a super effective move from this guy will probably finish me off. I go ahead and send out Rotom, predicting the fighting type move. 
um, and indeed he uses Drain Punch, which is excellent for me. Um, so now I have Tachikoma, my uh, original Rotom. I'm going to have it go ahead and use Shadow Ball, which is kind of risky if he decides to switch, um, but I figure why would he switch out into um, Dodrio, considering um, you know I carry an electric type move quite obviously. So he goes ahead and calls back and sends out his Pacnea, um, which actually was a fairly good move. Um, you know, if I hadn't been running Shadow Ball especially, he would have kind of walled me. Um, and unfortunately I do run the Shadow Ball, and thanks to the fact that I broke his Sash with um, those rocks, a, he is taken out. So, I mean, he was probably sending him in for that fodder. He goes ahead and sends out his Dodrio at this point, uh, which I figure is kind of strange because, you know, he knows I run an electric type move. I mean, what kind of Rotom doesn't? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go for the Charge Beam, and it turns out that he just resigned. So it was really only a half battle, but, um, you know, it's always nice to battle the underdog bros, always really creative teams. Um, he basically said that his team just wasn't cut out to battle mine. So um, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long.